two Linux distributions just dropped major releases within days of each other, Debian 13 Trixie and Linux Mint Debian Edition 7 GG. Same foundation, completely different philosophies. One's built for stability at internet scale, the other strips complexity and just works. Debian 13 Trixie took over two years to develop. This distribution basically runs the internet. Ubuntu builds on it, Mint relies on it. Trixie jumped from kernel 6.1 to 6.12 LTS with security patches until December 2026. You get better battery life and compatibility with Intel Aero Lake and AMD RDNA 4. They became the first major distro officially supporting RISC-V 64-bit architecture. That's the open source processor tech predicted to challenge Intel and ARM. LMDE 7GG launched days after Trixie's release. LMDE exists as Linux Mint's insurance policy. <laughs> if Ubuntu implodes, LMDE becomes their main addition overnight. GG uses the exact same Debian 13 base, but strips away complexity. You get Cinnamon 6.4 desktop with zero alternatives. One installer, one update manager. The philosophy is removing decisions you don't need to make. Here's where they diverge. Debian ships over 69,000 packages across multiple desktop environments. Choose GNOME 48, KDE Plasma 6.3, XFCE 4.20, or text-only installations. Advanced users love this flexibility. New users get paralyzed by choices. LMDE gives you cinnamon. The Mint team pre-configured everything. Multimedia codecs work immediately. Timeshift backup integration happens during installation. Driver manager automatically detects proprietary drivers. Everything controversial got decided for you already. Performance is nearly identical because they share the same Debian 13 foundation. Both use kernel 6.12, both access identical repositories. The difference is entirely user experience and target audience. Debian's strength is customization and scale. Minimal servers, computing clusters, embedded systems. RISC-V support opened new hardware possibilities. The trade-off is configuration complexity. LMDE's strength is opinionated simplicity. Default applications are pre-installed. Updates won't break your system because Mint tests everything first. Proprietary drivers just work. The trade-off is less flexibility. Install Debian 13 if you're running servers, need maximum customization, or want to learn Linux deeply. Documentation is comprehensive, stability is legendary. Install LMDE 7 if you want Debian stability without complexity. You get polished desktop experience immediately. Updates are safer. Gaming works better thanks to pre-installed compatibility tools. Both are completely free and open source. Both receive years of security updates. The choice isn't about quality. It's whether you want maximum control or maximum convenience. If this helped you choose, subscribe. <laughs> I investigate software that promises everything and sometimes actually delivers. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products. And honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, Use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, 
I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Oh, hey, Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.